Hello! So today I'm helping out an artist who's part of the Vancouver Mural Festival and I'm so excited to be doing this because it's been on my bucket list for a very long time. Uh, so I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm Sabrina and I'm the creator of L'Atelier Coworking and the Focus Journal. I am always looking for the best ways to optimize and organize my business and personal life, which is why I have created Tidy Living. If you want to get inspiring content and tips, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified on upcoming videos. Painting is a hobby of mine and I have always appreciated street art and have been wanting to paint a mural for years. So when my friend Ciel was looking for volunteers to complete her mural for the Vancouver Mural Festival, I immediately jumped on the opportunity to help her out. In addition to bonding with the other volunteers and the artist herself and having a blast, I learned a lot about mural painting. Here are my top three lessons from this experience. Number one, to scale a drawing onto a huge mural, there are several techniques you can use, like for example, dividing the mural into grids. The technique Ciel used, which was a completely new concept to me, is called the scribble or doodle technique. After priming the surface, you start drawing a lot of random, unique doodles. You can see them peeking through the drawing here. Then, you take a photo of the mural with these scribbles and overlay it digitally with the image you want to reproduce at 50% opacity. So you can cross-reference where you should be placing things on the mural. The more detailed your drawing, the more scribbles you should add. Lesson number two was that different colors of paint will act differently and will require a different number of coats and it is difficult to estimate how much paint you will actually need. The darker colors like the purple and the blue were easily applied on the mural, but the yellow needed several coats to look even and flat. At one point, we even ran out of the yellow paint and we had to go get some more. Hello, so we ran out of um, yellow paint and we're at the paint store right now picking up some more yellow paint. What color is this? This is called acorn squash. Cute. So it's a very bright yellow. We need it for the rest of the wall, so nice. we got a clutch moment. Lesson number three was that this 8 by 30 feet mural was a lot of work and required a team of three to four people working full days for four days to complete. But the work is so worth it because so many people can appreciate public art and as cheesy as it sounds, these endless coats of yellow paint have the power to brighten someone's day. So this was an experience I would definitely want to repeat and maybe someday even design my own mural. What are some items on your bucket list? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm having the best day of my life, which I am. Thank you for watching. I just surpassed 500 subscribers and I would love to reach 1000 by the end of this year. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I will see you in the next one.